Welcome back everybody, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. This is Scooter Gang. Today we're going to go over the InMotion RS tubeless tire replacement. These are PMT slicks. You can get them at Wired Rides if you're in the US. I'll put the link in the description. We're also going to check this RS for fitment with the mud guards. But as you can see, there's a quick disconnect for the motor wire, so it should make this a very quick tire change. Starting with the flathead screwdriver, you're going to pry off the nut covers. These are 21 millimeter if you're looking for a different style. This scooter has one lock washer on the inside and one on the outside of the swing arm. You will need to put those exactly back how they are. Take your 21 millimeter socket and just loosen up those axle nuts, one on each side. You're gonna use your Allen keys. Take off the brake caliper here. Brake pads are looking great on this scooter. We're not gonna change them. You're gonna need a little extended drill bit to reach this over here or you can do it by hand. We're freeing up the motor wire and disconnecting it. There's also one screw holding it underneath the swing arm. Unscrew that as well. Now we can take off our axle nuts and the lock washers the rest of the way. You might have to pry them off. This is a trick I like to use if it's very hard to get the motor out. You put the axle nut back on and hit it with a mallet. It will slowly nudge it down just enough so that you can get the tire out. Make sure that when it drops, you're ready to catch it, but most importantly that the scooter's not off balance and falls over. Now I like to set up a little cooler, the towel on top of it, so nothing slides around. This is gonna be a useful little table. Take your Allen key, remove all of these bolts, and take your rotor off. Release the air out of the tire. Now they make different size tire spoons. You're gonna wanna find the biggest ones you can. I think these are 14 or 18 inch long motorcycle ones. They make it a lot easier. Step one, you're gonna be breaking the bead. This means that you need to go around the edge of the rim and slowly push the tire off. It's quite stuck on because once the tire is on and inflated, it's just how it's designed, that it sits very tightly against the edge of the rim. But once you get one section off, you can get the rest of it off and you'll see that here in a second. And here you see we got it off all the way from the tire. We're going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. So that it's completely loose from the rim. Because as you see here it's still stuck. That's just how it is when you take the tire off. On these tubeless tires you're going to have to break the bead. Use a little muscle to get this done. Really once you get it in there just a little bit you see it kind of gets started. And then you can get the rest with your hand. That's all it really takes with this. Now you're going to take a look at your scooter and you're always going to want to take it off away from the motor wire just so it's not in your way. So we're going to go over this side of the rim. I think a lot of people don't show this in their repair videos because it's actually kind of difficult. But I'm going to try and show you everything here and sort of walk you through my thought process. 12 and 3 o'clock I usually put one tire lever in those positions and you try and just get one quarter of the rim over the edge first. That's your goal here. That's what I'm trying to do. I have them a little bit too far apart. So I'm going to go a little bit closer, right, from maybe 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock. But there you get that first lip over the edge of the rim, and now you're home free. You can get this tire off with your hand, the rest of it. Watch. That's the first half off. Now when we flip it over, we'll see that we still got to do the other half. And this part, you just simply push. You get to get the right angle with your hands. But literally, it doesn't take more than half of my body weight, and this comes out. I'm not pushing that hard. It's very easy to do. You just got to use the right angle and the right technique. Now we're going to take our new tire, find the rotation arrow, and we're going to line everything up. Make sure, double check with the scooter, make sure you're putting the tire on the correct way. You do not want to have to take this back off and redo it again. It's a pain in the butt. Anyways, the first part we can get by hand here, you just line it up. You're doing the exact reverse motion of what we just did when we took the tire off. You can use a little Windex to lube it up if you need to, but honestly you don't need it. This ended up actually making it a little too slippery for me. <laughs> but anyways, 
your first job is to get that first part of the rim inside the tire. There it is. Got the first half in. Now we need to focus on the other half. Now this is the hardest part of putting this tire on. And you're going to want to squeeze very tightly against the tire and sort of try and squeeze it as far as you can with your hand first. It's not as easy as it looks, but you can get it. I know you got this. And then I like to use a knee technique or sometimes my foot, depending on it. But the knee really works good. You get a lot of leverage. Keep pushing down with your knee and then start working the other edges from there. Now, it's going to take me a minute or two to get this on, but I didn't feel like it's fair to cut it all out when you're going to see there's a little bit of struggle to this. It's not exactly one, two, three, bam, it's on, right? It's going to take a minute or two for you to do this. The first time you do it, it might even take five or ten minutes fighting it like this. You will get it on, trust me. You will get the tire on. Just keep going. It takes a little bit of finesse and just getting the tire levers worked around at the right spots. Just slowly keep working it around and you'll get it. But I'm just going to let this play out for the next minute or so until we're done. Feel free to skip ahead about 45 seconds if you don't want to watch this. At this point, you know you're like one or two levers away from getting it. And you'll start shaking, but just stay focused. You got this... Next, we're going to need a ratchet strap and it helps if you cut off the extra end just so it's not in your way. Put it around the circumference of the tire like this and tighten it down. Make sure it's all centered very well and then crank it down super tight. Super tight. What this is doing is pushing the edge of the tire down so the air won't escape when we go and inflate it. You're going to want to run your air compressor at a high PSI. I think I had it around 80 and pumping that air as fast as you can so it doesn't leak out. And then take the ratchet strap off and your tire is going to be seated. If it's not quite perfectly centered, then you're going to want to keep adding air until it sort of pops out and centers perfectly around that rim. Just to make this a little easier to assemble, we're going to loosen our bottom suspension bolts here. Just maybe two turns. Just enough to get a little slack so that we can get our wheel back into this very tight fit between these swing arms. Now we can start reassembling starting with our rotor. You know, put those six rotor bolts back. I did take the time to upgrade these. The Allen bolts tend to strip if you get the star bits, they last a bit longer. This is where having the jack pays for itself. You can slowly inch the scooter down onto the wheel and get everything lined up perfectly. Then it's just a matter of tightening our axle nuts, retightening our suspension bolt, putting the axle covers, valve stem cover. Make sure your motor wire is back how it started, completely tightened down and screwed back. And we have a slight bit of rubbing here just by a millimeter on this fender. So I'm going to take that and just grind the edge down just a little bit. Not going to be pretty, but I don't really care. It's just about having the best riding scooter. That's why I put these tires on. Yes, they might be a hair wider, but they are worth it. To me, this scooter is now perfect. Good to go. Let's pump those tires up to 35 PSI. I cannot wait for this rain to stop these next couple days so I can go rip this scooter. It is like beautiful to me now. Let's do the back tire real quick. It's going to be the exact same process, so we'll skip that. There you go. Finish in motion RS. We did have a tiny bit of scraping here on that one rim. Fortunately, we might take a little black touch up paint and fix that, but all in all, pretty good job and for all you guys thinking about buying this in motion rs i'm gonna have a full review out probably around 500 miles but just keep in mind that you can get it at wired rides with these pmt tires pre-installed for you so you don't have to do any of this work i just did free of charge
So that's something you really need to consider when you buy the scooter. You can save yourself buying tools and trouble, whatever might come up. You never know when you're changing your tire, you might strip a screw and it sets you back days. But this is something they can do for you. They're happy to set up. They'll give you the choice of the tires that you want. You can either have the slicks that we just talked about or a Stradale, which are a treaded one. Equally good if you're going to be riding in all weather. Anyways, shout out to Wild Rides. I'll drop their link in the comment. Thank you again for watching. Scooter Gang out.